Hey, what's up guys? It's Risky here. Welcome back to some more squad. It's been a while since I've posted some of this game, but I've been playing the absolute heck out of squad lately. If you guys watch my Q&A on Call of the Wild, then you know that this is one of the games that I told you guys that I play when I'm not recording Call of the Wild. Now I have a squad beginner's guide on my channel if you want to go check that out if you do need some more help in, uh, you know, getting better at squad and being a beginner if you don't know what to do. Uh, but this is another topic that I uh, find that's pretty difficult for some newer players and for people that don't actually know how to mortar. Every time I'm in a mortar squad, there's always at least one person that's asking like, uh, how the heck do I use this thing? Well, hopefully in today's video, I can uh, help you out. It's actually very simple. I know when you go into the, uh, the mortar here, I'll show you. We can go up to the mortar, hold F, and uh, basically hit the ADS button. This screen looks pretty confusing, all those numbers there, but actually it's it's very, very simple. Now I do have the uh, squad leader kit selected. I'm going to actually mark, uh, let's see, we'll mark this target out here about 400 meters out. We'll put an attack marker there. Now when you're trying to find a range for your mortars, normally if you are like a just a regular you know player in a squad, you, your squad leader will place an attack marker on whatever they want you to mortar or they'll drop one of these things here, a fire mission. Uh, or if you are an FTL, which is a fire team lead, uh, I can't do it right now because I'm obviously the only person in here. Then you can also mark the little attack things yourself. But we're gonna put it here, and that's about 400 meters out. If you look down there on my little compass where we have the old degrees and everything and the bearings, uh, you'll see that it says 400 meters above that attack marker icon. That little um, blown up vehicle is what we're gonna be trying to get in that general area. We're gonna pretend that that's like an enemy fob or something. So we're gonna go into our mortar here, make sure it's reloaded, and we're gonna hit, you know, right click. That way we can ADS, basically. Now you can see that our target down there in the middle of our crosshair, that's where we're pointing at, but say there's something hella far away and you can't actually see when you're aimed through the little scope here, you basically won't pay attention to that crosshair. You're just gonna be looking at your compass and you can see exactly where that attack marker is. It also lines up with my crosshair and you wanna line that attack marker up. So for in this case, it's bearing 189 and you can see the distance is 400 meters. So if we look over here at our chart for the mills, 400 meters is at 1431 mills. So we're gonna move our mouse up and down. It's kind of slow. You kind of gotta like move your hand around a bunch. Uh, I don't really know if having a higher sensitivity will help that, but I play on a low sensitivity. So it's kind of, I gotta like yank my hand around. So you can see there's 1430 there. And each one of these little mill lines is, you know, one. So you got 1430, 1431, 32, and obviously here in the middle is 1435. So in this case, we're going to be shooting out to 400 meters. So we're going to need to line it up here on 4, 1431. Make sure our crosshair is kind of lined up there on the attack marker on our compass. And we're going to launch some mortars. Boom. And we're gonna ADS and I'm gonna wait until these mortars drop and you'll see exactly where they're gonna land They're very sporadic. That's why when you do mortar drops You're gonna do multiple ones because they're not all gonna land in the exact same spot every time They should be dropping any second now. Boom. There's one two and three Boom, so those are some pretty solid impacts pretty dang close to where we're actually wanting to hit Let's do one more round of those and you'll just I'll show you just how um random the shots are when it comes to mortars. Boom, boom, and boom. Now what I like to do when I'm mortaring, when I'm in a mortar squad, I'll kinda, each one of these mill lines, I don't really know the exact distance on each one. I think if you go from 1431, obviously that's 400 meters, but if you go to 1432, I think it's only like a couple meter change, like it'll only make it go out a little bit farther, you know, only by a couple meters. I don't really know how to explain that. But sometimes when I'm do doing mortars, Instead of putting it exactly on the distance that I need it, I'll kind of, you know, launch one, maybe move my mortar over a little bit, and maybe move it back this way, pull it back a little bit closer, and that way I just kind of, you know, stretch out my range and my area of, you know, impact, I guess you can call it. You can see now, after I did that, they're kind of landing in a little bit different areas, which is where you want, which is kind of what you want, because obviously if you're firing on that one spot, let's say that's an enemy fob, they're gonna be tr trying to push out from that area. So you wanna try and take out, you know, the surrounding area as well. That way you can get the guys running out of there. So that's basically how you use mortars. It's it's very simple. Uh, if we get on these ones, it's basically the same exact thing. I'm pretty sure the, the sites and everything are the exact same. Uh, and I just had a quick look at all of these and all the mills and stuff. I'm pretty sure they're, they're the exact same. It's just they're, they're different textures, they're different, um, you know, 
styles of mortars. I don't think there is any actual difference between the three, but if you guys do know that, then let me know, please. I'm sure realistically there is a, a difference, but in the game, I don't think there is. So there you go. There's a quick squad mortar guide. Hopefully that helps Simbi guys out. Very simple, actually. Don't let it, you know, scare you. All those numbers. It's very easy. I've I did it a couple times, and now every time I do mortars, they're always like, "Damn, dude, you're you're pretty good at that." So it's a lot of fun too, most of the time. Very simple stuff. Hopefully that helps you. If it did, smash the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys in the next one later.